Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. A little while ago, I did a video entitled Geo Fatboy Responds to Viewers' Comments, and someone responded with this question right here. It's from some random guy. He said, Geo Fatboy, maybe that could be an idea for a random video. Just you going to the park and feeding pigeons, or maybe a review of the Wilkinson's classic double-edged safety razor, the plastic one. I bought one a few days ago, and I think it's a really good razor. Gives a good shave, and it's also a good travel razor. Interesting. Well, here it is. The Wilkinson Sword Classic Safety Razor. To me, it's a budget razor. Comes in very relatively uh, low in price, somewhere around 10 bucks US. And it's made of plastic, and it has ridges in the handle, as you can see, which actually do give it a pretty decent grip. It's very light. This razor weighs in at 1.8 ounces or 51 grams. And then the overall length from top to bottom is 4.1 inches or 105 millimeters. So as far as safety razors go, it's on the lighter side. It comes with a five pack of Wilkinson sword blades right there. And this is the package it comes in. Just a clamshell little plastic package. I have just taken it out of here. And it does say uh, Solingen, Germany. So it is made in Germany. And it says ceramic, chrome, and crytox. I don't know what crytox is, but evidently it's ceramic and chrome. But this, all this looks like plastic, all this black portion. And the way this opens up, it's a two-piece razor. So this entire handle from here down spins. And there's uh, vertical lines on this portion right here. So that's easy to grip. The rest of it is smooth plastic. So just spin this till it separates and then we'll pop in a Wilkinson sword blade right here, right over the post. That's what it looks like. And just insert that and then spin the handle until she locks all the way down, which it is. And the good thing that's a, really a positive note on this razor, it's a plus, is the fact that the ends are sealed. You can't cut your finger, you can actually grip it on the ends of the blade and you're not coming in contact with the blade. You can see it's solid plastic surrounding the blade on both sides. Here's what I'm talking about. You can see on the Wilkinson razor that the blade is sealed off on the far ends. And here is my Mula R41. You can see that the blade protrudes just slightly on either end. And you run the risk of slicing your fingers if your fingers are soapy and you try to spin it this way. This won't happen with this razor if you get a good grip on the ends. And also, coming in under your nose, you could possibly nick the underside of your nose with this blade. Not so with this one. So it really is a good feature on that razor. Here's also the Merker 23C. You can see that the blade protrudes slightly on either end as well. Same situation. So that's really a nice feature right there. All right, I've got the blade locked down and you can see that the reveal is really good, perfectly even on both sides. So I'm gonna do a red shave today. Everything's gonna be red except for the razor itself. I'm gonna use George F. Trumper's Rose Shaving Cream. If you purchase it from Shave Nation, I can't guarantee that it will do this. Take a look at it. It's definitely red and Mm, wonderful scent. If you're a fan of light floral scents, this is going to be ideal for you. It smells fantastic. I will also use the new Shave Nation Bumpy Shaving Bowl. This is, if you saw my video, I'll put a link to it, the Indestructible. This is an Indestructible, the new version. It has bumps inside and the lather spot down at the bottom. Just fill that with lather. Swirl your brush, also a red brush. The Shave Nation Hot Lava Red Brush. We'll use this. So just fill the lather spot at the bottom and then swirl over the bumps. We should be able to generate some lather. So the bowls come in seven different colors. Black, red, blue, white, pink, yellow, green. This is the red. And here's a quick look at the Midnight Blue. 
and then all the other colors I mentioned. To be honest, this is the first time I'm ever using this bowl. So we're going to see how it works out. Let's mix up a lather first. Got a little spoon here. I'm just going to scoop out a little bit, about that much, like almond size. I'm going to drop that right into the bowl down at the bottom. There you go, you can see it. Not much, just sitting down there. It's pink on red. I'll fill up my marble cup with some hot water and we'll soak the brush. Drop the brush right in there. Let it soak for a little bit. Here's a look at it, saturated. I'll pour out the water. Just give the brush a couple shakes. And we'll go right into the bowl, see if we can generate some lather. Just putting the tips down in the lather spot loading them with the lather, and then swirling around the bumps. And you can see, very quickly, got lather coming up around the sides, so this is really nice. Just scoop that up, drive it back into the bowl, so the bumps really do help generate the lather. That was pretty quick. of lather coming up around the sides. Very nice. Look at that. Cool. All right. I'm going to warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. You can see that my face is good and red as well. Got a red bowl, a red brush, red shaving cream, and a red face. <laughs> Let's grab this brush and I got peaks and mounds of lather right there. You can see that my beard is relatively light. It's less than one day beard growth today. And I'm just guessing that this razor is going to be ideal for it because this doesn't seem like a very aggressive razor to me. It seems like it's on the mild side. So let's lather up. Hmm, excellent scent. Smells fantastic. Just a nice floral, light. Airy. It really does. They duplicated the scent of roses quite well. Little figure eight method. The Zen moment of the shave right here. Feels great. Clear the runways. And you dry off the fingers. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I mentioned, it does have the Wilkinson Sword logo on the top cap right there. Not sure if you can make that out, but it's there. I'll just temper it under the hot water and we'll get to the shave right here. Just start perpendicular, tilt slightly upward. Wilkinson Sword Blade. I don't even think I've shaved with a Wilkinson Blade on video yet. So here we go, let's see what it does. Oh, not bad at all. Again, my beard growth is relatively light, but it is nice and smooth. Yeah, not bad at all. I didn't even think it would be that good, but it does remove it pretty well. Let's rinse that off and hit the left side, same way, perpendicular, tilt slightly upward. Very smooth and very mild. Seems like it would definitely be very difficult to cut yourself with this razor. And I'm also guessing here, it's a look at the stubble. Not super heavy, because again, I had light beard growth. The mustache area. It's a little bit bulky, but you can still get under there. And it is very light.
but this this handle this checkered knurling on this handle makes it very easy to grip we'll do a quick rinse let's go back to our bowl lots of lather still we'll relather for our second pass Clear the runways again. All right, first pass we went north to south. We'll now go against the grain. Get some good feedback from this razor. I'm guessing if you wanted to tune it up a little bit, you could throw a feather blade in here and that would probably make it a bit more aggressive. Here we go across the grain. Now back end. Now under the mustache area. I think that this is going to be really nice because you don't have to worry about clipping the underside of your nose because this is covered here. Yeah, you can go right up to your nose, which is a really nice feature. We'll clean up around the lips. Let's hit those cheeks a little bit and we'll, we'll go baby smooth. Still plenty of lather for a few more passes. If you want to call your friends over, you got plenty of lather. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ride the cap. And this is such a mild razor. This should work quite well. Just want to start like this right on the cap and then tilt your handle slightly upward like so just until it catches. Stretch the skin a little bit. And this gives you that baby smooth, that glass-like finish. Just like that. Excellent. Same thing on this side. You can go backhand like this. I'll go like this so you can see it better. Stretch the skin a little bit. Start at the cap, the rounded portion. Tilt slightly up till it catches. Right there. Excellent. Let's rinse this off. We'll do a hot water, then a cold water rinse. There we go. Nice and smooth. Look it out. Check it out. Looks like maybe I missed a little spot right there. Let me catch that. Watch this. Right with my finger a little bit. Got it. Let's pat the face dry. And we'll stay with the floral scent and the reddish color. We're going to use this pink George F. Trumper Coral Skin Food. You can see that it's pink. And this is a nice, this is not a cream, it's a nice balm. It's a little bit light, it's thick. You can see it coming out there. Just a little bit in the fingertips. Massage that right into the skin. Also a fantastic, nice floral scent. Matches up with the rose nicely. That goes on cool. Leaves a nice layer of protection throughout the day. Great for winter use. We had a little bit of snow this morning. Very nice. Check it out. Nice and smooth. Really a good shave obtained from this Wilkinson Sword Razor. I mean, I actually would prefer something a little more aggressive, but if you're shaving every day, you have mild beard growth, this will be an excellent razor for you. If you have heavy beard growth, you're probably going to have to work at it. You'll have to go over it a couple times. It'll still get the job done, but it'll just take a little more effort. And it would be great for travel use for the simple fact that it's so reasonably priced that 
If you lose it or TSA confiscates it, it's not the end of the world, no big deal. So actually, you know, if you're a beginner, it's be a great razor for you to start out with. You can get a feel for safety razor shaving without popping out too much bank, save a little money for blades, shaving cream, brush, whatever else you may need to get. There's a final look at it. Wilkinson Sword Classic Safety Razor. If you want to pick up any of these items, the Bumpy Bowl, the shaving cream, the razor, blades, anything, just click under the video where it says show more and you can grab it there. Also, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button down there and then go in the upper right hand corner and click the bell and then click all so you'll be notified of all my future videos coming out and you can check those out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.